Now today we'll be showing on how to remove and replace an output shaft speed sensor, also known as a counter shaft speed sensor. Very, very quickly, inside the automatic transmission you have an input and an output speed sensor. And they talk to each other, so the transmission shifts very, very nicely. Long story short, if one of these sensors are not working correctly, then you will have harsh and improper shifting, the cruise control may not work, the check engine light will come on, so it's very, very important, and most cars, it's not too bad. On this Acura, it's a $40 part, so it certainly isn't too bad. Also, very quickly, before we begin, just note that if you do have a trouble code for this sensor, it's not that there's something wrong mechanically with the transmission. It's just an electrical issue, meaning the sensor. So let's begin. So the first step is just locating where the sensor lives. Now, if you don't know where the sensor lives on your specific vehicle, and I've said this before, the best thing you could do is a Google image search. A lot of times you can just simply type in your vehicle and you'll find the sensor usually pretty quickly. If you don't find it there, again, visit a form that's uh, specific to your vehicle. If you can't find it there, then you can always purchase the repair manual spe specific for your vehicle. In other words, the repair manual that the technicians use. So that being said, on this 06 TL, the sensor lives way down in the engine bay. I have to remove the battery. So let's go ahead and remove this cover. And then these are just two 10 millimeter, <clears throat> 10 millimeter fasteners. This looks a little bit bigger. Let me grab a 12. And then this is just the battery hold down tray. Couple of 10 millimeter fasteners. And then there's typically a plastic under tray. This has the battery looped into it. There we go. Now directly forward of the battery, we have the air box. This is where the air filter lives, so I'm going to remove this as well. So there's four locations. Typically, on many vehicles, you have four locations of these. This happens to be eight millimeters. Some vehicles just have clips. Now, if you're sort of doing this in the dark, you don't know exactly where you're looking or what to look for, just think of it logically. You want to find the transmission because this is attached and actually bolted down into the transmission, usually with one fastener. And then the other thing you could do is just search. For example, go on Amazon and type in your vehicle and output speed sensor and you, you can see what the sensor looks like. So at least now you know what to look for. And little clues like that go a very, very long way. Now I have a vice grip just to give me an extra hand. I can squeeze this clamp down. I don't have to hold it down. Remove any connections. This is going to lift up. Like so. This goes back. Okay. And then we have the air cleaner and the housing. Once we remove the housing, we should have clear access to the sensor. So we have a couple of fasteners holding this down. And now with everything cleared away, this is where the sensor lives. Now, this right here is a grounding strap, so if you need to remove this temporarily, you can do that to get clearer access to that fastener. Sorry about that, there you go. But I think we'll be okay, I don't think we need to remove this. So that's a 10 millimeter, remove the fastener, and we'll uh, take out the sensor. Now, I'll try to be as steady as I can. I can't fit the tripod in here. Uh, let's try this. I did just loosen it up off camera. And I should remove the harness connector before we do this. Okay, so harness connector. Let's see if I can get this on camera. It's really tight. Right here, where my index, actually my thumb is. Just press down. 
you hear it click and then push back okay and there's your harness connector now if you want to just in case you can place a drop cloth some cardboard underneath some vehicles you may have some uh, transmission leakage the fluid leakage but it's a little seized up let's see if I can loosen this up here okay so what I did off camera is I just I had to use both hands to get this loose it's a very tight fit there's an o-ring in here that makes everything really tight okay here's your old sensor now if you're familiar with most of uh, my videos regarding the sensor replacements I tend to show on how to also test the sensor now with modern vehicles for example with this 06 Acura TL the only way you can really diagnose uh, the sensor itself and the entire system meaning the power control module you need a very very sophisticated scan tool chances are if you are getting a trouble code it's the sensor the other thing you could check is the wiring in other words make sure there's no brakes make sure that the prongs are perfectly good at, on the end of the harness connector but chances are this is your problem if you do have a trouble code make sure also that you delete the trouble code with a scan tool and then once you have your new sensor we're just going to reverse the entire process make sure the new sensor also comes with an o-ring it's a very tight fit just press down on it rotate it until it's nice and snug and when you reinstall the fastener don't over tighten it because you don't want to crack the body of the sensor Then of course the very last step is to erase any engine codes you may have or trouble codes. If you don't have a scan tool you can always go to your local auto parts store if you are uh, looking to purchase one which is nice to have if you plan on doing your own auto repair. I'll include this one that uh, I purchased off Amazon. It can read trouble codes not only for the engine, the transmission, the airbags and the ABS. So it's a nice system. It's not too expensive. But ultimately you would just go down to here and you would erase any codes in here. And that's it. So I'll just take it for a quick test drive. Make sure everything is okay. And we're in good shape. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.